I'm sitting in a laneway of Melbourne about to reward myself with a Vegemite baguette because earlier today I found myself uh, imparting some hard-earned words of wisdom with uh, a number of the incubator companies uh, involved in the Angel Cube startup fund. Now I love working with startups because when it comes to their online marketing they're, uh, they're open to anything. I can make suggestions, they'll say yeah I'll do that and then they'll implement it quickly. Now unfortunately for the rest of us We've already spent a lot of time and effort building our websites and uh, sometimes even making a small change can be costly or awkward or we need to get permission or we worry about what the outcome's going to be. Well, after talking to these chaps today, I thought, what are some of the simple things that almost any business owner can do or any marketing manager or any web developer that can generate a really clear and positive difference to a website's outcomes, whether they be... Um, getting more um, contacts, more leads, more newsletter registrations, uh, or heaven forbid, maybe even actually selling something. And one idea jumped to the front of my mind, and that's what I'd like to share today. It's a very, very simple technique. Literally would take you uh, maybe less than an hour to implement, but I can tell you is likely to have a significant impact on all those measurable outcomes uh, associated with a website, such as registrations, likes, sales, all those different things, those outcomes that can be measured. What am I talking about? I'm talking about a page on the website. Your website has it. Most websites have it. In fact, I think just about every website I've ever had any dealings with has this page. It's called the confirmation page, or the success page, or the thank you page. Now. This is the page that you fall on or stumble upon after you've completed a transaction. You subscribe to an email newsletter and it says, success, thank you for your purchase. Oh, sorry, thank you for signing up. Well, you purchased something and it says, success, thank you for your purchase. That is the success page and it's highly, highly underutilized. For example, when Antil was a print magazine, we used to sell subscriptions for $39.95 for a 12-month magazine subscription, and our website was littered with this message. Subscribe, $39.95, subscribe, $39.95, subscribe, $39.95. One day I made the highly contentious decision, and I've got to tell you, I copped a lot of opposition to this. I said, I want to change all those messages to simply say, subscribe to our free email newsletter. The reason why I copped a lot of opposition was because I was removing an obvious opportunity for someone to uh, make a, uh, in, engage with us in a commercial sense, pay us money. And uh, some of my colleagues were saying, why would you remove these prompts for people to buy from you? Aren't you going to reduce the number of subscription sales that we generate? Now, it's online, so you can test things. That's what I went and did. I went and tested it. And I changed those messages from subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to our $39.95 subscription to fr subscribe to our free email newsletter. The other thing that I did is, is I changed the success page. So when someone subscribed to our free email newsletter, it said, thank you for registering for our free email newsletter. Do you want to know a secret? Click here and you can subscribe to our print magazine for only $29.95. All you need to do is use the special coupon code SECRET. Now what was the outcome? Did we increase our subscription sales, say 5%? say 10%, we actually increased our subscription sales 800%. Now you might be saying, hey, you were selling a subscription for $39.95 and now you're selling one for $29.95. Well, I know that our fixed cost was about $19. So on a full subscription, we were making 20 bucks. On this uh, reduced subscription rate, we were making a, a profit of, of, of 10 bucks. So we were making a smaller profit, but we were selling a heck of a lot more. This is something that almost nobody ever does and it's so, so very simple to do. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about that page on your website, that page that says success. Someone's just signed up for your email newsletter, someone's bought something, someone's filled out your contact form and add something extra to that page, even if it is something as simple as like us on Facebook, tell a, tell a friend about us or why don't you buy something? That there is the success page. Uh, a very, very simple recommendation. Anyone can do it. Go forth, do it, and generate better outcomes from your online marketing. Signing off. Before you go away, you may have noticed that I've donned my special offer hat. So if you're a web developer, a marketing manager, or a business owner, I'd like you to check out the little messages below this video. 
Now, if you're a marketing manager or a web developer and you really wanna dazzle, impress, overwhelm your clients in a good way, if you wanna make yourself become indispensable, I recommend that you check out my message below. If you're a business owner and you'd like to know the four goals that any revenue generating website must pursue, at least one of these four goals, I have a link for you as well below. So get clicking and I'll see you on the flip side.